Hi, I'm Max Ada, head coach of Team Juggernaut, back with you for the fourth video in our series, The Scientific Principles of Weightlifting. In this video, I'll discuss the principle of SRA and how it applies to the sport of weightlifting. SRA, or Stimulus Recovery Adaptation, is the process by which training is done. Essentially, we stress the body with a training stimulus or workout. The body's homeostasis is disrupted and it reacts in order to recover. And once this recovery takes place, adaptation occurs and the body is now at a new functional level. All stressors will have a different SRA curve, meaning they take different amounts of time for the body to go through this process. For example, a maximum deadlift will have a very large SRA curve because of the number of muscles involved, the damage those muscles will incur, and the intense effect it can have on the nervous system. Conversely, something like a power snatch will have a much smaller SRA curve because far less intensity is used, less weight on the bar in an absolute sense, and the exercise is not as damaging to the muscles involved. A smaller SRA curve means more frequent practice can be done. SRA is the governing principle by which we determine the frequency of overloading sessions we can use for any stimulus. Specifically for weightlifting, we pay attention to SRA as it affects technique. Because technique is very dependent upon fatigue, higher fatigue can negatively influence the process of performing technique, larger SRA curves should be accounted for and programmed accordingly in the microcycle in order to mitigate the potential negative effects that could occur in a latter technical session. It would not be wise to do heavy deadlifting two days before a hard technique session in the Olympic lifts. Something to note is that the SRA curve of technical exercises, such as the snatch and the clean and jerk, is going to be smaller. And because of this, we can maximize our training by including them more frequently in the training process. We can do more high skill technical sessions in a week than we can very heavy large SRA curve strength exercises. Some special considerations for SRA as it relates to weightlifting. The largest SRA curve exercises should be done after the most technical exercises in a day and have the largest time after them before the next technical training session needs to take place. An example of this would be doing very heavy strength exercises on the, at the end of a very technical training session at the end of the week, say on a Friday, then having two or three days before your next high skill technique focused practice. This extra time allows for more recovery and allows the process and the entire SRA curve to run its course before the next session takes place. Some misapplications of SRA. Too frequent training. Too frequent training can produce too much fatigue that interferes with the quality of technical practice as well as interfering with the adaptive processes. It's important to balance the number of technical sessions and heavy strength sessions in a week. Poor organization of large SRA curve sessions. Even if volume and intensity is not excessive, poor organization of large SRA curve sessions or very, very heavy, intense strength exercises can have negative situations on the following technical sessions. If you liked the video, go ahead and subscribe, give us a like. Also, check out jtsstrength.com for more weightlifting information.